Okay, today we're going to compare unit rates. We're going to figure out what would be a better buy. So if you ever go grocery shopping with your parents or your grandparents, you always look to see which one, maybe per ounce or per dollar, would offer you a better deal. So we're going to just jump right in with an example today, and that would be buying flare pens. Those are our markers like I have right here. Okay. And let's see which store offers the better deal. We have Walmart and we have Target. Walmart is offering $6.29 for five pens. Target is 12 pens for $15. We want to know what would be the better deal. Now we want to know the better deal, how much for one pen. So I'm just going to put one underneath pen because that's going to be the unit rate that I'm looking for. So I'm going to do money over pen. You will always, always, always set it up with the labeling first. Okay, so right now we know that it's $6.29 for five pens. How much? would one pen be? Whenever you're looking for the better deal, you have to base it off of the unit rate. So I'm going to take $6.29. I'm going to pop down a little bit further. And I'm going to divide by five pens. So five would go into six one time, subtract, and I'd get one. Bring down your two. Five goes into 12 uh, two times and that would be 10. Bring down your 9. 5 goes into 29 5 times. That's 25. And you subtract and that's 4. So I'm going to add a 0 on here and bring that 0 down because I know that will go in evenly. And that's going to be 8 minus 40. Now we know that money only has two decimal places for change for coins. So I can't put down 1.258 because that's not representing money. And I know that my 8 is going to round that 5 up to a 6. So this is going to be $1.26 for one pen. For one pen. I rolled that up. Okay, so that's going to be $1.26 per pen. Okay, that's going to be my Walmart deal. Now what about Target? Same thing. Money over pens. 15 over 12. And right away I put my 1 in there because I know I forgot to do this part. Sorry. We're going to divide both by 5. Here we're going to be dividing both by 12. So I'm going to come down again and I'm going to do 15 divided by 12. I'm going to go ahead and add on a couple of zeros here. And I'm going to put my decimal point right up top. We know that 12 goes into 15 one time. So I'm going to subtract 12. 12 goes into 30 two times. So 2 times 12 is 24. And that gives me 6 bring down the zero, and that gives me five. A dollar twenty-five. So for, for um, Target, it's going to be a dollar twenty-five per pen. So which one is the better deal? Which one is the cheaper price? Target offers the better deal. Now I can tell you that you probably looked at these numbers in the very beginning and thought, ah, oh, it's cheaper here at Walmart, so it's going to be a cheaper price at Walmart. But that's not how it works. You need to find the unit rate first. Just because it was only $6.29 and this one was $15, that doesn't make a difference. You need to find that unit cost first.